there's one other announcement I think it's a good time to make. Now that we have all the people here, I don't know if you notice on that slide, but you see it says a word of excellence. The Charlotte chapter did receive the uh, Chapter of Excellence Award from the International this year. So, you're what? out for some of these open positions so we don't really know are they really truly open but we don't have firm commitments on everybody right now so uh, if you'd like please talk to Mark or myself about any of those things and uh, the only thing where that's different here is we're not going to do it quite that way is for the academic affairs because we would like to have a faculty member involved and a student involved so we won't be applying that rule uh, universally across all of our committees um, 
we'll, we'll bring all of the folks that are here from this next board up for a group photo because we like to put that on our website and in the newsletter. Um, also, we have these, uh, we've encouraged all of these vice presidents of our committees to encourage others to join as committee members. Part of it is engaged members are retained members. And in a lot of societies, a lot of chapters I've been into, I've heard complaints that people tried to get on a committee and they were rebuffed. You know, our, my committee's full. Well, at the Charlotte chapter, there's no such thing as a full committee. <laughs> if you want to get involved, you just need to ask. And if you get turned back or you just don't feel warm and welcomed, you need to let me know because we'll turn that around because everybody should have a chance to engage here. It's very, very important. It's important to me. I joined the society at the chapter level in 1979. Back in the day, my boss signed me up for the newsletter committee. I was told about it on the drive back. <laughs> and I was on the newsletter committee. And it, it, it's been so meaningful an experience for me all these years. Um, and I would like to encourage everybody to get engaged. Part of the reason we, we have our journal is so that any of our members can get published. And if we really think your article needs some work, we'll give you that feedback so that it can get in the next journal. But we're trying to be very open about allowing and have, being an outlet for our members to get published. Uh, this forum here uh, was intended to allow our members to present. We think that our success is due to a top level programming. Yet we need to have a place for our local members to start. Because where do you start? So part of the December meeting was intended to be that and maybe you didn't understand what a poster session was or could be or whatever. And maybe we should have done Cracker Barrel sessions instead. But that's the intent of the end of the year, the December meeting from now. It will be a celebration of all of our community of practice. And we are a community of practice, even though our practices may be different from each other. But in the realm of human performance technology, as long as we're geared towards improving performance and using evidence-based means, and not fads and fallacy kinds of things here, which is the other important thing here. We're trying to bring in the kind of programming here with people who have been proven. If you have ideas for people who should be on future programs, please let us know, especially the programming committee will be bringing to the next board sometime in the summer a proposed program for the next year. We're trying to get way ahead of our programming and not do this incrementally. We would like to announce in the last quarter of the year What's the value proposition for joining this chapter? If you pay your $25, what are you going to get for that? Who's coming next year? So we want that to be crystal clear. So we've gotten way ahead of ourselves. Many of the people that we've engaged and did all this planning for aren't used to that. But anyway, so that's our intent. And uh, we hope to win, uh, continue to win these Chapter of Excellence Awards. It's pretty easy. The criteria are very clear. It's criterion referenced. It's not norm referenced. We're not competing against anybody except those criteria. So there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do that. Um, so all of the new board, if you could come up and we'll do another photo shot. So could everybody come up? We have a, we've a, we decided that the, we're going to have a past president role. It's not official in our bylaws and we'll be changing that as we go forward. So now it's just an honorary position, but um, Bring another chair. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, can you put it up? This is all part of our marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. We you want to tap into your networks.
Thank you all for participating in the workshop. Please encourage those in your professional networks to take a look at what we are offering so that they can make that decision for themselves as to whether or not we can help them. Our premise, our, our vision, our vision statement was low-cost professional development. And so we, that's, we're trying to keep our price, our costs low so we can reflect it in our pricing strategy. And if we have this kind of number of membership and we have the kinds of turnouts that we've had all year long, we can sustain that. And, but it will require your help to help us build our community practice. So thank you all for a fabulous first year and a half and uh, look forward to seeing you joining some committees and filling the pipeline and someday running for elected office here. Thank you. <laughs>